Alright, so here's the video for the cup holder with ambient lighting. I finally got that working. What I had wrong, I put the pins in the wrong order. I had them mixed around. I know on camera it looks like it's flickering, but that's just the uh, frame rate or whatever where the video's making the recording. So this is what it looks like. I'll change the color. I'll get it brighter. Let's do orange. I know it looks kind of red through the camera, but it's orange. Just blue. There's red, so kind of see a little difference from red and orange. Here's green. That looks kind of like a yellowish color. Almost like a rusty color. Watery rust, I guess you could say. There's blue. And there is purple. And yes, you can change the brightness of it. All you have to do on here. Just swipe down to whatever brightness setting you want. All the way up is full brightness. All the way down is very dim. Well, this one here just basically, oh, turned it off. Oops. So you can do all the way down here. So that's just the progress of the ambient lighting I got. So I got one here. I added that little light here, and I also got one in the back. I don't think you'll be able to see it too well. You can see some kind of pinkish color. So that's the rear footwell lights, and there's your cup holder. Now, what I'm going to do also is add one on the passenger floorboard and one on the driver's side. The door panel ones, I'm not going to probably add unless I find one at a junker for a great price because they want to... Uh, Apparently, I believe there's like little holes underneath the handle. Then underneath this uh, switch, there's a hole there, I think, for the ambient lighting. And they want about, let's say, I think uh, if I priced it about $400 a piece, brand new at the dealership for the door panels. Plus, I'd also need to do is uh, the door wiring harness. You won't be able to see. It's obviously too dark. I'd have to tap into those like I did with the center console and run the wires through the door. So I don't think I'll do that unless I find one at a really good price. But so far I like it. Now this cubby hole up front here is supposed to light up but I cannot find the part, the ambient lighting LED for it. So that's just gonna stay dark until I find one. So that's just a little progress of the ambient lighting. Thanks for watching.